Now on to the hierarchy and the animations. Now the hierarchy defines uh, how the parts of the model work together. Basically these are separate objects and they behave separately. Now obviously the, the gun should be moving together with the turret when the turret is rotating and the hierarchy is here to help us with that. Uh, this transfers to your model.cfg file in terms of bones and connections. Uh, so you can easily define your animations quite quickly. Um, okay, let's start. <coughs> First of all, I want to connect the gun to the turret. And now I can do this with the simple uh, uh, max tools and it's basically select and link. It's right here, it looks like a chain. I'm going to select this, I'm going to click and drag from the gun to the turret. Let's see what happens now. If I go to rotation, right, you can get the idea. So now they're linked. They're still separate objects, but they're linked to each other. And this is great, since I defined the, the axis of rotation beforehand when I was doing the memory log, I can preview my animations and kind of already estimate, as you can see right above the the, um, uh, the gizmo right there, that 30 degrees should be probably the right amount for the pitch up of the gun, and minus 5 degrees should be the amount for the pitch down of the gun, for example. So this is great without going to bulldozer and fiddling around with your model CFG file right now you can already see what's moving how much is it intersecting it's going on alright now if I refresh the hierarchy I can see that turret has a child and it's the gun double clicking selects the uh, the object in the scene okay now I'm ready to define the animations in my model CFG file. Now, open up the CFG tool and some of you may notice that it's changed drastically since last time uh, in the form that this looks much busier. Um, uh, there's been a menu added here. You can open previously made files. I have to mention that previously made files, I mean files made with this tool, not other model CFG files. Uh, the reason for that is, is you can see these um, markings, these comments here and here and here, well they're very special. Uh, they define, they tell the, this tool where everything goes and if the file that you're editing does not have them, it will just not know what's going on. So that's important. Also don't delete these uh, for obvious reasons. So we're going to define now the animations for our model. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to define a new class. Let's say tank. And this is a reference class. All it will be is to show up here, class tank. Something that this already defined and we're just going to take it. Okay. Now, my model is going to be called my turret, so I'm just going to write my turret. It Im it's important that this is exactly the same as the name of the file of the p3d file that will be saved later. Uh, let's say it inherits from the tank. It doesn't inherit the skeleton. And these are the right selections. Okay. My turret takes from tank. Notice the hierarchy has been saved as it should be. Okay. If I wanted to, I could save another one and another one. And this gets updated so I can cross inherit from the, every class I create and this is the main feature of opening other previous files is that once you open it it loads all the classes that are already in the file here and you can reuse them <coughs> okay so our skeleton is set up uh, we don't need a reference class for CFG models because all I'm going to do is just reference from default so I'm going to go again my turret going to come from default, not going to inherit sections, uh, not going to inherit animations because there are no in default, skeleton, my turret, just uh, the one defined here, and add. Okay, 
So that's my turret model CFG class it's, uh, created. Now I can add animations to it. My turret, that's the class. The animation does not inherit from anything. And the name of the animation is main turret. Let's say the first one, yeah? And it's rotation about the y-axis. Remember that in uh, Arma, y points up. Strangely, okay. And the source it will be taking from is main turret. And its properties are selection. I just double click turret. It appears here. Add axis. New feature added. I can click here. And I have all the memory points that are in the model in the list here. So I can also double click them. And it appears here. Um, axis, let's see, angle zero, and it will be <coughs> rad minus 360, angle one, rad 360. And that's all about it. Uh, that's about all I need. So I'm going to add this. Main turret class has been added. Okay. So now when I have a main gun animation, and it's going to be rotation around the x-axis source main gun uh, it's uh, angle one let's delete these angle one is the upper so let's say 30 degrees as we saw before angle zero is minus 5 again like we saw before uh, selection is gone memory point will be axis gone axis okay and that's it create it has been created click on save model CFG save and that's it. Our, that's our animation file created. Of course it can be much more complex. If you're creating more models than one, uh, if you're creating a lot of animations, no matter what, you can do it here. And you forgot to put something into your model CG file, no bother. File open. And that's it. That's ready. Now, as we export the model, the animation should be there. No. <laughs>